Hello and welcome to another update video about render. So we take a look at the render chart. In my opinion, still one uh, in the current wave count, as long as we're holding the trend line, one more high would be preferred. Yeah, but we are basically sitting at the pivot point now. So at the moment, the view is that um, this could be a leading diagonal. All of this, yeah, the move that started back in June three wave move in a wave one, then a wave two to the downside, a wave three to the upside, a wave four to the downside, and we could now be in this fifth wave, which because it's a diagonal would consist of an ABC structure. And I'm currently watching for this B wave low here. Yeah, remember what we said like weeks ago that we'd like to see price come into this region. Now, of course, it, it unfortunately dropped um, also due to, you know, the altcoin crash in the last few days um, to the lowest point that it should really do in this particular scenario. Remember in the last video we said it could happen easily that it comes down to the uh, trend line. And as long as it's holding the trend line, I think it has a chance to rally in that C wave here that would be impulsive, but it would literally need to turn around now and I can't see that at this stage, okay? If it happens, then I need to see a break above the $2.39 level as a first piece of evidence. At the moment, I'm counting the move down as a WXY structure within a larger Y, within a larger B, which would then result in a C wave. But support is 191. It's a 78.6 retracement. What happens if we break below that level? That's the question. So I thought about that today because there needs to be an alternative, right? Um, yeah, the alternative would be, the alternative would be, so we have here a three wave move up. So I would still see this as a wave one. The other option is then, and I just, show it to you without changing what I've got on the chart already. The other option would be to see the move that started here in December 23 as a wave one. Then this would be an A wave down. It's a three wave move. Okay. So it is valid to understand the move up because it is so choppy as an overshooting B wave. So the A wave down overshooting B wave and if it continues to crash lower and if it breaks below the trend line then I would see the move down as a C wave within a wave 2. What would be support for that? So what I would give you yet now is basically for the case, for the scenario, the possibility that we break below the trend line. yeah an additional support area because if it breaks below 191 then it breaks the likely support within the leading diagonal and then we need to look at okay what could be then support in that case so here we talk then about the area between $1.30 and 77 cents however if it breaks below 77 cents then also the idea of a one a, B, C, wave two scenario, one, two setup will be gone, okay? So this would be sort of a fallback bullish scenario from where it could then rally. Obviously better reward to risk ratio from here. Um, let's see, let's see. It all depends on can the bulls hold the trend line at 191 basically, yeah? I mean, the last swing low is at 180, um, but this would be support in the case of price breaking and sustaining below the trend line. Okay, that's my update about render. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.